means zero coupon bond. Now there are certain formulas that they have given you. There is no need to remember this formula. Okay, it's very simple, and I will try to explain it to you as easy as possible. But before that, you will have to understand that the quote for the T bill, which you see in the market, is an annualized quote. Annualized quote. Okay. So suppose if you go to the market and you see that there is a T bond, T bill, sorry, T bill. Which is a one eighty day table, and the quote of the table is basically around seven. Okay, so now how how does your mind work? How how should your mind work actually? So you should say that okay, seven t or seven as a number is for annualized. That means three sixty. Why? Because your table is always going to take three sixty days from the previous day count convention. Right, money market instrument. It was actual by three sixty. The total year is considered as three sixty. Simple. So seven represents three sixty. But my bond is only for one eighty. So what is going to be for one eighty? Can you guys calculate? Do the cross multiplication. Three point five. It's half now. So we get three point five. Now what is this three point five represents, or what is this seven represents? It represents the discount. That means. at maturity that means after 180 days if the bond is going to give you 100 today which is time zero you should be getting a discount of 3.5 dollar that means your price is what 96 96.5 dollar this is the cash price of the bond this is the cash price of the bond so t bill t bill basically shows you this number 7 Which basically, basically they are showing you the discount for the entire annual year. You have to convert it as per the bond, and discount it from hundred. So then you will get the price. Then you will get the price. Now please understand. Please one more point that you have to understand. Every bond, every bond does not have a, a par value of hundred. Suppose if the par value was thousand, then there is a discount of three point five percent. 3.5%. So what is going to be the discount? 3.5% of 1000 35 na. No? Right? So my cash price will be 965 dollar. Simple. So basically it represents the percentage. So every bond will not be in 100 part. It can be 1000, it can be 10000 also. Are we guys clear with this example? Because then I will give you my examples, more examples. If you guys are clear till this point, simple. Suppose, suppose if I give you that I have a table which is for ninety days, okay, and I see the quoted price of the bond as five in the market. Now, obviously, we know that this is annual. So five is for three sixty. So for ninety, how much it is going to be? Can you guys give me the number? One point two five. So if the bond is going to give you in the future at ninety days hundred dollars, so the discount is of one point two five dollar. It's going to be ninety eight point seven five dollar. The cash price of the bond. Simple. Ninety-eight point seven five. If you are able to understand this, the concept, okay, let us go to the book now, and let us see what they are trying to highlight. First of all, this discount rate, okay, is the annualized rate that we see. This is the cash price that they want to find, okay. This is the cash price that they want to find. Suppose if I, if I, go to this example. What was my annualized part? Five dollar, right? And it was a ninety-day table. So if I implement this in my calculation, so my annualized rate was five five dollar. My N, which is the days of the bond, is ninety. Can you guys calculate this entire part? Are you guys getting the Y as ninety-eight point seven five? Kindly confirm.
Yes. So it's the same thing, not, nothing different as such. Okay. Perfect. Certain parts are repeat. So T bill and the other money market instrument they follow actual by 360 day. Okay. N over here represents the maturity of the bond. So in my example, which I just showed to you, maturity left for the bond was only 90 days. Right. Let us also cross check this number. The first calculation that we did, the cash price, the quoted price was $7 for 180 day bond. And we got 96.5. So I'm just using the formula in the book. 360, how much time was my bond? 180 days. 100 minus Y. Cross check if you're getting this number, which is 96.5. I want everybody to cross check. Are you guys getting this number? Right? Right now, two, when you take it over here, it's going to be 3.5 minus 100, you'll get the answer. Simple. So this discount rate or this part is in annual terms. Okay, this is not the actual rate earned by the T-bill. Why? I'll go back to my example. Now, please understand the cash price of the bond. The cash, this is the cash price. This is the price that you have to pay to get the bond. So you're paying today 96.5 and you're getting $100 after 180 days. So what is the income that you have generated? You generated an income of $3.5 by paying 96.5. So what, what, what percentage it should be? Everybody. 3.5 divided by 96.5. It is going to be 3.627 percentage. This is the actual return that you have generated. Because you got $3.5 by investing only 96.5. If I go to the another example which we were doing, which is this. Okay. So now over here, you're generating an income of $1.25 by paying 98.75. So I can just calculate like this to get the true rate of interest that I've generated. It's going to be 1.25 divided by 98.75. And I'm getting an answer of 1.266 percentage. This is the true rate of interest that I am generating, right? The same part has been explained in the question. So let us go and Check this question and mark this question as star important for the exam perspective. Now, what is this? What is this question talking about? You have a 180 day table, which is currently quoted as five. So 180 day five is the annual part for 180 day. It has to be it has to be 2.5. If it is 2.5 minus this from 100, you will get 97.5 as the cash price. You don't need to use any formula to use logic 97.5. Is the cash price. If this is the case, what is going to be my true rate of interest? It's going to be 2.5, the income that I've generated by paying 97.5, which is being done over here. The answer should be around 2.564 percentage. You guys can cross check. This is the cash price. This is the true rate of interest. Look at the question. Look at the entire thing and give me a quick confirmation on chat. Perfect. I hope everybody is good till this point. Let us go towards the quiz now. Now this is uh, this question. This is this part. You'll have to calculate for all of 